stadium has been built to give comfort to a support in weather like this. And that is a thistle support you can see to the left there. They brought up something like 2,800 today. And what a marvelous sight. This is the first all-ticket game in the first division since reconstruction. And there is St. Johnson. The last time we were here, they played extremely well against Warden in the first half and then faded. And here is a man who I thought was quite outstanding, Alan Moore, signed from Hearts. He's the top uh, club scorer and was the B&Q player of the month in August. Well, Partick Thistle defending a 25 unbeaten game run, and that is a, a great record. Uh, they're up here today with a, a huge support behind them. Uh, they slipped up last week somewhat, but here's a real character, Chick Charnley. You'll notice him all right, with uh, the stockings down around the ankles. He's, uh, according to all the Thistle supporters, he's been rather off the boil in the last two or three weeks. But nevertheless, he's still an outstanding player, great entertainer, scorer of five goals this season so far. And there's the referee for today, Jim McGilvery. Well, it's like a cup final here. What a marvellous atmosphere. A lot of families in as well. That uh, certainly doesn't diminish the noise. Perhaps increases it. And St. Johnson starting off with the right kind of aggressive attitude. <laughs> Just done there by Curran. Oh, that was the captain up there. Nicely into Moore. Feels for a penalty, but no penalty now. For a slip than anything else, and the St. Johnson players barely whimpered about that. This is the Saints' seventh corner. It's a bit wide, though. Curran. Moore. Well, that's a very good ball. Oh, what a miss! He ought to have buried that. Oh, that's the best chance of the game, so far. No question about that. Look at it. Look at the agony of a man who should have put that down. That was technically a very bad header. The idea is to get up and head down, and he did the very reverse. And then it goes the halftime whistle and Saints will be extremely annoyed with themselves that they missed a chance like that in a very, very evenly balanced game. Uh, evenly balanced in the sense that the both defences have been extremely good. Partick dangerous in the breakaways and Johnson perhaps more of the play in midfield, but uh, as I said, a real cup tie. I mean, uh, I thought at the, the start of the game the crowd was generating something that the players wouldn't match. Well, they have. In fact, they've exceeded it at times. The play has been uh, a guy bruising in midfield, but there we are, a very enjoyable first 45 minutes. And would you believe there's been a dramatic change in the weather? Uh, through the interval, suddenly the, the sun emerged and the public address announcer very quick in a ball says, well, we might save some electricity on the floodlights. And they're ready to start after, as I said, that quite bruising and highly competitive first half with St. Johnson looking very promising indeed in the last 10 minutes or so. We really should have gone in the lead. Free kick. Curran to Heddle. It's McVick, and it's a very good answer goal. Excellent goal. McDermott Park erupts. the club's leading goal scorer showing his beautiful sense of timing here watch this could have gone anywhere off the head that's great timing great execution and after only two minutes Saints are up what this game needed 
go like that. Will he challenge this? Has got to come out. Moore lays it off well. Ball really breaking for St. Johnson at the moment. Oh, that was very late indeed. No question about that. That tackle by Dempsey was a bad one. No doubt about that. Well, the referee indicating he was up like that. And he's off. I think that was inevitable. Quite frankly, it was a bad tackle. And there it was. Watch it coming in now. As she goes up there, he slid in. And it was late. And an ordering off inevitable. It's a confrontation that's been expected for a long time and anticipated greatly by both sets of supporters. St. Johnson still there. There's no offside. Masquerade. Two nothing. And that's it. I was talking about the match of the day and how the confrontation was highly looked forward to, but the St. Johnson supporters here now realizing they're maximizing on a great performance by the side, particularly in the way they've kept the nerve. They've come through some rocky passages in this game, but that was a deft little touch and mastery, typical of his uh, play of his other colleagues. Not unnerved by that, sliding at home. And a great sight to those people who planned the stadium with St. Johnson supporters standing, singing, cheering. Culmination of a great afternoon for them. Oh. Well, it's a penalty kick. What a finish Campbell brought down. I personally thought he dived. No, I take nothing away from Thistle. I've praised the, the fight back, but that looked to me very much like a dive. Oh, dear. <laughs> Remarkable finish. Charlie about to take it. 2-1. I think it's too late for Thistle. Quite remarkable game as the St. Johnson support stands and applauds his side off the park deservedly. So, isn't that a marvelous sight? I mean, if you imagine. Yeah, that's great stuff.